Luke from Hitch. Well, you've seen a few different color combinations now come out on the Cannings, and this one's particularly a bit special. What we've done, we've matched it to that iconic Land Cruiser color that Sandy tore um, for this particular customer, and it's come up absolutely mint. Really gonna look great behind his tow vehicle, which is the same color screen, the blacks and the Sandy Torps. Um, what we've also done, is we've matched the stud pattern to suit that the Land Cruiser stud pattern as well. So just gives it a bit more versatility. So we're gonna run you through that build now. All right, so starting out the front of the build, we've got the D35 hitch from Cruise Master, and we've also got the ARC 750 XO jockey wheel. So they're your premium products right at the front on the draw bar, nice and secure. We've added in the front toolbox, the additional toolbox for this one, which is great for all those big bulky items like camp chairs, camp ovens, chainsaws, all those things that we like to take camping. Then up on top, we've got our firewood rack. And then also on this side here too of the main toolbox, you undo your two latches. And in there, we've got our adjustable toolbox shelf. We've also got a power point on this side as well, just to give you more versatility when you're plugged into power or if you've got the inverter running that 2000 watt red arc inverter. Still on this side of the driver's side, what we've done for the ultimate sort of coverage and, and whatnot is we've got our new Darchi Eclipse shower tents. So um, they're sh fully closed shower tent. We've got the roof on them, a bit more privacy, a bit more protection. What we've also done, we fitted another uh, Darchi Eclipse awning. That's a two and a half meter by two and a half meter. That's gonna come right out over this area to give you another another living space on the on the driver's side of the camper. Um, so just depending on where the weather's coming from or if you've got friends or family come with you, just a bit more space out of the weather. And on this side as well, we've also got our hot water system to give you those nice hot showers when you're away camping or give you nice hot water at your kitchen sink while you're doing those awesome camp cookups, which we all know and love. All right, so back in the business end of the trailer where the magic happens, um, down on the ground here, which it doesn't matter what type of trailer you've got, your suspension's critical to the longevity, but also how it rides. Um, we've taken that further and with the Cruise Master airbags, which um, is the most common fitment to all our trailers. On this one, we've matched the Land Cruiser stud pattern, so that's that five by 150. And then we've thrown on a set of um, 17 inch dynamic wheel company Joker rims in the same stud pattern accessories. And then we've also done a 33 inch Falcon Wild Peak, um, and that's to match the customer's tow vehicle, just to give it a bit more versatility um, and a bit more spares if you're off the beaten track a bit further than normal. So around the back of the camper, uh, where your kitchen and all that kind of stuff normally, normally sits, your tire swing sits out, which is a great spot to put those bevies while you're cooking. But what we've redone here is we've actually redesigned the rear door system. Um, and part of that is we now incorporate a nice Centerflex hinge, but also we've made our door frame and our door support frame one piece, which gives it a really nice clean look, um, but also just blends it in a lot nicer. And then as you can see with this one, with the sandy top color scheme, it just finishes it off really mint. So we'll open this up, and two latches. The other thing that we've done, we've redesigned the, um, the strut mount. So what that means is you can adjust the door to pretending on your height or whatever you, um, whatever your height you want it. In here, normal sort of kitchen setup. We've got those nice Nava LED lights giving us all the white. Uh, we've also got our amber as well. Um, and as you can see too, we've got the red arc system in there as well, the battery manager 30. That's taking care of all our electrical needs. And you can see through here, Batteries at 100%. We're actually getting 12 volts off the lights in the in the factory here, and we just you can see where your power's power's going. Part of this new system with the Red Arc Incorporation, so we're now running the Red Arc 2000 watt inverter in our tech pack, but we've also redesigned the roof, and we can now fit a 200 watt Red Arc panel. So that's 50 watts more than what we could previously offer, and that's going to give you a heap more juice belting into those batteries to keep them charged, which ultimately keeps you off grid longer, which is what it's all about. Up here on the roof of the camper, you can see how we've redesigned it. Heat more space up here. And that's that massive 200 watt panel, which is a huge panel for a, a setup of this size. You'll see a lot of power coming in off the solar and will really keep those batteries nice and topped up. And, but you can still see your awnings are high, but your solar panel, your omni vent, everything's protected by the roof rack, so you're not gonna have any issues when you're going on those off, off the grid, those really beaten tracks. Around the passenger side, um, we've got all your sort of usual findings. So we've got your rear water filler there to fill up the rear tank, your power inlet, 
your standard jerry can holder, and we've also got the Darchi Eclipse 270 awning. So that's going to six arms, swing out over your toolbox, swing out over your kitchen, give you heaps of protection. And then as you come up to the front of here, on the passenger side of the toolbox, we've got all our electrical that we house. So we've got the Red Arc Battery Manager 30 in here. We've got our new Mega Life 200 amp lithium batteries as well, so they fit in there nice. And you've got your airbag system and your another solar input as well. All right, so inside the, um, the cabin, the sleeping area of the canning, we've got a lot of our usual features. So we've got our standard light up here, our Omni vent, which is that reversible fan to bring in the fresh air or create a bit of a draft with the windows and the doors. For this customer, we've put in two Sirocco fans. He's from far north Queensland. Um, so just giving him a bit more uh, fan uh, movement if he, if he needs it. But they're so insulated, he's probably never gonna use the two. But a couple other features which we've got. So on our new uh, map reading lights, these now have inbuilt USB chargers. So you can charge your accessories while you're asleep. Just another sort of two points in addition to our ones in the, in the cabinetry. But also on the rear door, we've put in our roll of lines. So you can just block them down, give a bit more privacy, but also have the ultimate sleep in because with the blinds all closed, it is super dark in here so you can sleep in. So that's a bit of a look at one of the latest builds to come out of the Hitch Factory. It looks awesome. It's definitely, amongst the team here, one of the favourite campers that we've built, particularly with this colour. So speak to him today. If you've got a colour that you want to match in addition to the white or the grey or the sandy top, you might have a graphite, you might have a Hermosa blue for all those patrol fans out there. We can match it, speak to the team and really customise your canning to give you the ultimate pairing to your four-wheel drive. Thanks.